After being bitten by a radioactive bird, somewhat manner T. Tuttle felt compelled, nay, possessed to become Sky Dude. This is episode 133, The Adventures of Kinius the Sky Dude, in which we find Kinius trying to continue his practice as a fighter pilot in DCS World Digital Combat Simulator. Today's uh, activity is going to be target practice. We'll be using a different, uh, a lot of different uh, weapon types to destroy one air-to-air -air com, uh, one air target and multiple ground targets. So yeah, learning how to use a different variety of weapons, which I'm not completely familiar with, but that's how we get our experience. Uh, I would immediately switch over to DCS World, but right as I was getting going just one minute ago, the darn thing crashed on me. It's reloading right now. So as soon as the uh, DCS World comes up, we'll be, we'll be right at it. Hope you had a good weekend. Sorry about yesterday, a little under the weather. I'm still a little bit under the weather. Uh, up in the air whether I was going to go on today, but feeling all right enough to go ahead and try to do something. And uh, Friday was fun. The uh, the fly-in with m the Microsoft Flight Simulator community, all those darn ornithopters in the air, and flying around uh, over to Dubai, a place we had never been before. Well, I had never been before. What a trippy, 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 trippy place. Okay, looks like it's coming up now. Do, 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 do. Hello, Henning. Henning is in the chat room. How are you today? Pop out the chat here and bring it over in front of me. So the plan, unless you've got time to dogfight or do anything cool like that, you bought the F-14 for DCS yesterday, and you got to say there's nothing more frustrating to fly. The F-14 is a tough, a tough bird, man. Uh, I really enjoy it in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, I actually, some in some ways, find it easier than the, uh, what was it, the F-18 that they gave us? Um In some ways, uh, I, I like the way you're able to use the controls. I don't know how similar it is to the Microsoft Flight Simulator, but I did appreciate the ability how it uh, you're able to control your speed and altitude and other things with the uh, cockpit functions. Well, you're frustrated, as you said. Yep, I get it. And so you don't have time to fly today. That's fine. I was going to go ahead and... Uh, and do target practice today. I had forgot that I said I wanted to do airliner flights on Tuesdays, tube liner Tuesdays, to follow what Microsoft is doing. And uh, as I was putting my plan together for the day, I forgot all about that. So we'll try to do some uh, uh, airliner flying. We'll get back to that and get back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and get back to our exploring Europe shortly. But Right now, I'm kind of still hooked on this DCS world, and it's one of those. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it, and there's so much to learn with DCS world. All right, so today I want to do target practice. Uh, if this goes at all well, which I don't expect it will, <laughs> maybe we'll move on and we'll try the uh, air-to-air -air support or air-close support or whichever the next one is, but this one's going to be rather rough. There's YouTube saying I'm not receiving enough information again. That's always something. I think it was a Monday. No, well, we have a new subscriber. Thank you, Joseph Lenz. It's finally updating. The other day it wasn't updating when we had some subscriber. Some subscribers... So, Joseph Lenz, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really could use all the help I can get right now. Wix just raised their bill on me, and I don't think I'm going to be a Wix user anymore. They're my web host. They've been my web host for, man, I want to say almost, almost 15 years. And, uh... 
I've been paying the rate, same, r roughly the same rate the whole time. And they've decided to triple the rates on me for the basic plan. And uh, that's really unfortunate. So I was on the phone with Wix earlier today. And uh, I don't know if anybody uses them as a website host. But you're all probably waking up this month to uh, massive, a massive leap in their service prices. And, uh, you know, so... I don't think I'm going to be with them anymore, so I'm going to have a lot of work to do ahead of me migrating a, a website, rebuilding a new website. It's not much to look at. Again, I, I just needed a basic, basic, basic hosting, and now they're like, well, we have this, and we have this, and we have online stores, and we have AI, and we have this, and we have that, and I'm like, yeah, but I don't need any of that. You know, I signed up for you guys to just provide me some basic, basic, 1980s 1990s web page stuff and uh now you guys are pricing me out that's unfortunate and uh my adobe bill went up so i'm not happy with that i'm thinking about ditching all the the adobe creative cloud that really sucks but everybody's raising their prices on everything and now's the time not to be raising prices i don't know where they get off anybody right at the moment i mean i get it but i don't get it so if it comes down to eating or a website, that's it's getting pretty tough. You flew against Hans, who was in the SU-33, and he pulls a tiny little bit, and I'm dead. And I, if I pull half a millimeter too much, I'm blacked out uh, for eternity, and your flares don't do anything. My jester also doesn't care. Oh, that's too bad, man. So, yeah, the performance of it. Uh, I wonder... I, I know it was supposed to be a multi-purpose fighter, but I wonder with the F-14... And they did have that problem with uh, the spinning out. That uh, And it's unfortunate that they've obviously put that design into the, the model that they've released. And... Um, There were a lot of problems with the initial release of the F-14. All right, now let's see if the we can get the head tracker to work. Get that set up on my desk here and get that started. And let's hit start over here. And it looks like it. Nope. All right. Well, that looks a little bit better. Okay. So it says ahead of you, Waypoint One is an island with an assortment of target types. Each target group is marked with red smoke. You have a variety of weapons to choose from useful key commands, air to ground mode seven, air to air mode six. Select next weapon D laser is zero. The squall sensor is um I mean it says O. Left shift and O for the laser, O for the squall sensor. Uh and then the squall slew commands. And yeah, we know those, so Oh, I've heard about that too, where you're using asymmetric throttle for turning and trying to just uh you know, again, you'll let's say you've got both throttles of full and you shut one off entirely. So you've got only thrust coming from one side to, to pull off a major turn. Yeah, I'm saying that's not all it's cracked up to be either. So I sympathize. I really, really do. I sympathize. Okay. Get my headphones on here. Ahead of you at Waypoint 1 is an island with an assortment of target types. Each target group is marked with red smoke. You have a wide array of weapons to choose from to destroy as many units as you can. Press escape and then select briefing to view a list of useful key commands. Uh, we don't need to do that. And I know my first target is going to be air to air and I know how to identify on the uh, wings down in the display. 
uh, how to set to air to air. I've got us in air to air mode and I see the target ahead. I'm going to try a leading turn, which we learned in our practices. So as we get to the target, I'm going to start my turn on him. Oh, it looks like he's turned towards us. Okay, so we, we've missed it. All right, so there's our target right there. Our, it's a helicopter. So we will try to go up and get behind him a little bit. And try to get him first. And then we'll have a look at what other weapons that we have lined up for us. Doing 480. We don't need to be going that fast. Not for him. Uh, I want to say, because I, you know, I want to be hopeful that, uh, once you become a little bit more familiar with it, um, like anything else and get the hang of it, that you're going to be a, a monster. And, um, I don't know anything about long range weapons yet, but I'll, I'll bet the long range capabilities on it are pretty darn good as well. Oh no, really? I'm losing too much thrust here. Oh no. Oh my goodness. We bottomed out at 350 knots. Uh, I want to say knots. It's 300 and... And now he's turning and mocking us. I don't know how in the world we lost control at 350. That was... That's pretty sad. Sorry about that, folks. So, that sucks. Yeah, it's going well. Yeah, I'll bet you're going to be a monster once you get familiar with it. But I'll bet it's, uh, you know, compared to the one that you're already already used to flying, the F-16. In your point of view, the F-14 is too realistic for DCS. It takes way more than the other airplanes when pulling Gs and behaves so much differently. And missiles up to 60 miles. Okay, air to air 6. He's going slow enough, and he's kind of stuck there. We might be able to get him on the first pass. You have a wide array of weapons to choose from to destroy as many units as you can. Press escape and then select briefing to view a list of useful key commands. I do want to get him from the side. I'll come down here a little bit. If I can get him from the side. I'm going to do an out of plane maneuver, as they say. I think that's the term. There's a two. Two. We'll be in own in just a moment here. One. Come on. Stop bouncing around. All right, well, we hit him. He's damaged. Now we're under 300 again. I've got to put the throttle back in. Come on, baby. Gosh. The helicopter has been destroyed. All right. Okay, so if we go to air to ground mode now by hitting seven, and let's pause here for a second and take a look at what they've got for us. Okay, so now the, the first weapons that come up on the outside are the two uh, there, and it says the S8 AOM. Okay, let me uh, stop the head tracker for a minute. 
the S8 KOM. So let me refresh myself here and um, grab another screen and try to remember. Let's take a visual look at it here. So I think these are the pods. Okay, the tubes, the canisters with all the uh, the rocket pods, it looks like. Okay. All right, so let's get back in. In here it says, in the lower right, le uh, lower right hand of the corner of the HUD, the S8KOM. Let me pop out to Google here. UCS World. S8. Eight K O M. The S eight rocket. All right, and it says. A weapon developed by the Soviet Air Force used by the military aircraft remains in service with the Russian aerospace. Da -da 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 -da. The S-8 80mm rocket used by fighter bombers and helicopters. The system entered service in 1984 and has produced a variety of subsystems, subsystems with different warheads, including the heat, anti-armor, high-explosive fragmentation, smoke, and incendiary, as well as the S-8BM runway destroying munitions and S8DM fuel air explosive variants do, do, do. I just want the KOM S8 KOM heat one point three to four kilometers Low smoke motor power with twice the burn time. Now, is that guided or non-guided? Unguided aircraft rocket. Uh, hollow charge fragmentation warheads designed for destruction of ground armored and unarmored targets, such as tanks. Uh, back to the chat room. You'll keep practicing, hopefully get better. No, it, sir, I know in you, you're going to absolutely get better. It may be a little bit frustrating, but once you learn its eccentricities, in the long run, I don't know if you're going to favor it at all, and you might end up favoring one of your other aircraft more. But knowing you, uh, you're, you're going to master it, and yeah, no matter what, you're going to end up being a monster in it. So, uh no matter what, you know me, I'm not going to look forward to facing you in it, no matter what I'm in. I do look forward to you getting on, having some vacation time and holiday time, so we can uh, now finally try a little bit of dogfighting. I, uh, I know that you've been watching me over the last weeks doing the dogfighting and getting, getting better and better. At least I'm able to beat the uh, helicopters, I'd say, you know, a third or fourth of the time now. And... Uh, so yeah, uh, F-18 is a refresher, is a refreshment since you learn dogfighting and it's really quick and best if you understand how it works, I'm sure. I'm sure it's an amazing, amazing aircraft. Okay, so we have unguided rockets and... Put my coffee aside. Let's fly back over our targets and, and, and see what we have here. Do, 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 do. Come on. Okay. What was our speed? You know, F-14s against SU-25, since you're absolutely, absolutely trash in the Tomcat. Uh, 
What is that warning? Too slow or what? I wish they would, I hope in their next version or some way down the road, they remove the reflections off of the, off of the windows. They're hard baked on. They're not actually reflections. They're just big reflections, but they just, it doesn't help. And I can't see most of the targets because there's too much information. Let's go back out to options. And I have a... Uh... See if we can turn off the, what would that be? Oh, I'll have to look that one up. Where it gives all the information on everything. Doesn't look like you can do it from here. All right, well, never mind then. Yeah, you see how it's just so much text on the screen telling you what they are that you, you I can't even see them. Pause there, go out here, good look. All right, so it looks like we have four there. And four over there. The so four down there. Those guys are behind those trees over there. And three over there. Using the head tracker for this mode isn't so good. So those are tanks. Or BMPs, whatever they are. They're vehicles. Those look like artillery. Well, that'll be nice. Okay, we still have those SK eight selected. Too hard to see. Coming in now, we got speed. Now we're coming in too fast. Didn't get a lineup on anything. That is one of the drags about this thing is, you know, uh, compared to a lot of the new aircraft, is its turning radius. There's a really, really long turning radius.
Oh, nice. A new joystick. I would like a HOTA system. I think that'd be fantastic, especially for this. One with the throttle and the joystick. That'd be nice. Fuel, 1,500. Oh, no. I'm going to run out of fuel. So where's our targeting of reddit fuel on this one? And it's too hard to see. Yeah, I can't see the targets. Pull out. Pull out. I got one, but we took ourselves out. Yeah, uh, hmm. Okay. Let's go out and see if we can find out how to turn the information off. <laughs> Gameplay. Improved spotting dots. That doesn't help. Labels. Let's do... I don't know what dot neutral is. Symbol only. Let's just, for this one, let's just try no labels and see what that does for us. Probably turn on unlimited fuel. One twenty eight. Ahead of you at Waypoint One is an island with an assortment of target types. Yeah. Each target group is marked with red smoke. You have a wide array of weapons to choose from to destroy as many units as you can. Press escape and then select briefing to view a list of useful key commands. How to leave it there. When you lean your head in with the head tracker, doesn't make the HUD any bigger. I can definitely see the things on the ground looking down there much better. Okay, two solid hits. Oh, yeah, he went down. Okay, good. All right, put it air to ground. The helicopter has been destroyed. Oh, I can always turn it on for the dog fighting, but for these ground ones, it, or I had full information on, so it's just overloading me with too much. I'll have to try one with like just symbols, or I'll have to try them all and see uh, which ones. 
Those work a little bit better. Now that on smoke is in my way and the reflections on the windscreen on the HUD makes it now it's making it really difficult. That is too hard. So between the smoke and the baked on reflections in the HUD, yeah, it's it's making it really hard to spot stuff on the ground. So if you re were to rewind that Try to do a close-up the way I was looking at it. Yeah, tell me if you can spot them at all. That is very, very difficult. And this plane is just acting like such a hog today. At 350 knots, she doesn't want to do anything. I don't know how or where to... Turn on or off reflections. If that is in the options, I have missed it. But chances are I'm going to die again. So we'll have a look. Four hundred kilometers an hour, and she wants to be silly. See, see those guys at all? I see these guys. Uh, got one. Fourteen percent damage. Three in a row there. Inner controls. Let me go to camera. There's a way to toggle the Control plus.
Right control. Plus. That's what I want. Fuel, 1500. Too much altitude. Well, that was a bust. No, maybe not. There's one on fire over there. Oh, yeah. Dummy. I don't think that those were my targets. I think that just was stuff on fire. Uh, I'll get to those as soon as I burn all of these. Now they removed the red smoke. Yeah, and there's that big red splotch on the HUD there, rear joystick. And that's right, right where I need to be. There's the guys right there. There's one of them. Uh oh, it just switched weapons. Now we have a bomb. And I don't know if these are laser guided or not. So that was ineffective. What do we have here? We have... It just says bomb, but it doesn't tell us if these are the guided or unguided. The BNY. Third in on each side. Those don't look guided to me, but I don't know. HUD filter. Turning on HUD filter. 
That I don't know. I don't even know what that is. A HUD filter. Not even close. Oh, this is so frustrating. Sunglasses for your cockpit, huh? All right. Uh, we'll have to. We'd have to go back out for this one. We can't do it in here. Control. Pull up. Pull up. Mm, how I got lucky on that one, I don't, I don't know. Did I, did I, did I destroy myself? Yes, I destroyed myself. Some people were meant to be fighter pilots. I just don't know that I was, but. HUD brightness, HUD filter, HUD color. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
All right, and let's go back over to gameplay and let's add something to it. Let's go to just dot neutral. What does that see what that does? Oh no, the darn thing crashed on us. Do, 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 do. Well, that's loading up. I am going to step away and get another cup of coffee. Let's go ahead and take a small little break here. I don't have any music set up for today, unfortunately. And I will be right back. <laughs> okay. Here we go again. Ahead of you at Waypoint 1 is an island with an assortment of target types. Each target group is marked with red smoke. You have a wide array of weapons to choose from to destroy as many units as you can. Press escape and then select briefing to view a list of useful key commands. That's so funny. You can see the targets easier out here at this distance than when you get in close. And having that symbol only, I'm not, I'm not getting anything. But you see how easy it is to see the targets out here. It's crazy.
So what does the rest of the week look like for you? Are you doing any other aircraft-related activities this week, uh, going to the airport, any glider flying? Any? Um, uh, at one point you told me on the weekends you do some maintenance over at the airfield. Or school-wise, what do you got going on this week? Table tennis, what is it this week? Okay, we're back to those... S8. Right control L or can try right control L or right control H. Oh, hold on. Let me read that. You can try right control H or right or right shift. Let's see here. Right control H. I don't see that. I don't see that that's doing anything. And right, uh, let's see. Right, the other right control. <laughs> right control H. Oh, I see. Change your HUD colors. Yeah. Yellow works really nice. And shift. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, the reflections are still on that one, too. But I get it. If you're definitely in high glare area... She's so heavy. Because she's so heavy. Okay, so in the dogfight, you just have a couple of air-to-air -air missiles and your cannons. And so I'm definitely today, I've got to say, absolutely feeling the effects of being weighted down. Because it was so easy for me to put it into straight and level flight and just immediately pick up some speed. And if you're in a small little descent... I probably that's probably why I'm descending much faster too heavy but for me to turn around and do a turn on the, on the A10s and then do a climb was rather easy and now just bleeding it off already at 350 which I you really don't want to go below in the climb especially in in a dog fight anyway you start losing all control but I wanted to do just as I was pulling away from the targets, I wanted to get, give myself some more elevation, some more altitude. So I started just a slow little, well, I, I did what I normally do, actually, and put it up right in here for a climb and realized, man, I just I just don't have the climb power. So it definitely uh, reflects the payload. Still, I would really like to get some altitude, and I, I just can't. Hmm. 
And I'm so low. So, make sure we have full throttle. We don't have any wing stuff going on. No flaps. Let's double check. No, no flaps. Gears up. All right. We're starting to get some altitude here with holding 350. I don't have to hold that pitch. I just need to hold enough so we gain some dang altitude. All right. Thank you for coming in today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. As always, you know, every day. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. 1500. And, uh, yeah, we'll definitely see you tomorrow or soon. This is not going to be the most interesting stuff uh, to most people coming in. Like, this is boring, and you can't kill anything, and it's really boring. Yeah, I get it. These This DCS stuff, I didn't even know that I wanted to live stream the DCS stuff. Because it is, when you're learning, it's so challenging. And until you get good at this, you're not going to make any viewer coming in going, Wow! Wow, look what look at the action. Oh man, the action. I'm feeling the action. It's just not gonna happen for a while. And so I feel very bad in that regard. And now when we're doing Microsoft in the flight simulator, at least we have sightseeing. We're seeing things we've never seen before in the world. Um You know, there's there's some meat and potatoes there, if you will. But when we're doing this stuff, yeah, not so much. I don't even know where we're at anymore. Town. Let's see. There's that little island. Still, 2,000 feet. That's it. Well, we have some speed now. All right, in a good height, we don't need to be going that fast. Put on some flaps. I can actually put on some brakes. I just really want to hover here. What if we can do a shift F with full flaps? Is we just yeah, we just want to hover. So I can give myself time. a time tough time getting my damn oh I forgot these are just rockets no target no targeting I was holding down the space bar oh no wasted one Yeah, and now for me to get my nose up, it's so, we're still so incredibly heavy. 
Man, she's acting. She's running really, really slow. Yeah. Uh, so putting the full flaps didn't help. It just brought us down. Don't bring me down, Bruce. It's pretty cool. What an amazing fellow that guy. He's a young guy and he's got his whole life ahead of him. And from here on out, we got to pray for him every day because he's learning flying for real. Now, I got into this to learn how to fly with hopes of one day being brave enough to go down there and, well, being rich enough to afford the damn classes, dang classes, and uh, and get my licenses but to just to be brave enough to, to do it. And in the first two years of learning how to fly in the simulator, it was like, oh my God, I'm never, ever, ever going to fly. I'm never going to learn how to fly too. I think I'm kind of getting the hang of it to the point where I was, oh yeah, okay, I'm starting to get this. I'm starting to get my hopes up. This is look this is pretty cool. I think I can learn how to fly. To All right, what's next? Navigation av you know, in aviation, let's uh, let's take it up to the next plane. Let's learn how to fly another plane, then another plane, then another plane. Let's learn how to fly an airliner. Let's learn how to use the MCDU on an airliner and program our own flights. Let's learn how to fly everything and practice practice practice. And then the neo fly stuff I've been doing the career stuff. Just putting it all into play. Now learning how to do cross countries and run around making money in a plane. Um, but I think the point is, let me back up now. Kind of lost my train of thought there for a minute where I was in the whole overall arc, arc of things. So then there, there was the point where, okay, I'm learning this. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I think I can fly and I think I could do well and survive. Um to the point where I'm like, I'm more terrified than ever. On this, it's okay, I'm making mistakes, you know, thank God that there's simulators and I don't have to go out and, you know, die right away in something like this. But as far as Microsoft Flight Simulator is concerned, um, I try so hard to be perfect. And to do everything right. And so many bad things still happen. And I have it set for real world. I don't have it set for let's cause bad things to happen. But bad things... Mistakes seem to happen at enough of a frequency at the moment for me that I'm terrified. I don't, I don't want to go do it. Which brings me back to the point where we need to start praying for Henning and Hans and all people really who are brave enough to go out there and do it because, man. Ahead of you at Waypoint One is an island with an assortment of target types. Each target group is marked with red smoke. You have a wide array of weapons to choose from to destroy as many units as you can. Press escape and then select briefing to view a list of useful key commands. At this point, I feel like, you know, with the world the way it's going and potentially Armageddon happening, it's like, man, if you ever need a skill to get away from it all, uh, this is the skill to know. So, you know, now at this point, it's 
I'll do it if I have to run away from the end of the world, possibly. Go out and find some place. Just out in the middle of nowhere. And I know from flying now that there's a lot of out in the middle of nowhere places still in the world. That was a crappy shot, and he's doing pretty good still. Alright, so I gotta keep our speed up. Because low speeds on this with this weight is, as you've seen already, been a horrible detriment. Yeah, so we've got to got to keep praying for our friends from here on out every day when they're around aircraft. So yeah, now at this point again, if if you know if it's the end of the world and I've got to bug out, uh, I'm comfortable enough that I feel that I could go out to an airfield and find out if I could find anything really. But it would preferably, since they're the most manufactured plane in the world, you know, a Cessna 172 or equivalent, anything in the in the GA Cessna line, that that type of line, 152, 172, whatever. Even the caravan now, we've done so many hundreds of hours in the caravan. Uh, we've flown turboprops, the TBs, right? Um, we've flown everything at this point that that you. For the most part, I think if we were to go to any airfield somewhere. There'd possibly be something that we've flown. But either way, if especially if it was just a Cessna or any training plane or anything in that line, yeah, I don't think I would have a problem in an emergency getting into one and doing what I have to do. Trying to get trim all right on this too to be stable. Not fun. All right, so we met, and we fired all those and hit nothing really. The drag. So now we just have bomb. We'll head out, put in a small climb. Pitch trims a drag, man. Like you press it one time. It just keeps going. Maybe there's a setting for that. So I'd really love it to just stick right where I want to put it. Right? So I just press down trim. And maybe it's doing something like linear, linear and not incremental. Because all I've done is push down trim one time. Again, you see that she didn't hold at 10. She dropped to level and is continuing to fall. So if I hit up trim enough to counter that, now she's going perpetually. Let's see if we can get it to stop by doing a down right at the 10 mark. One push. Okay. Four hundred ninety kph, holding ten. Oh, she's wanting to start falling again, though. 
and click up trim. Only went still just right there. One more click up. Okay, now she's going up again. And click down, try to lock it. Nope, oh, plummet. Well, for a couple of seconds, she's hovering. <clears throat> she's hovering right there. <clears throat> But starting to fall again. So, coming in on these runs, you want to be stable always when you fire. As stable as possible, anyway. So, coming in, I'm over here clicking the dang buttons, trying to get myself stable as we come in on something. And it's been very difficult. Anytime you're in a turn, you're going to be bleeding off energy. I don't want to bleed off too much, and I don't want to descend too much. I'm trying to hold it. Fuel, 1500. That big turret, and we're only up to 1,400 feet. Wow, it's open all the way. doesn't help at all. All right, like I was talking earlier, I want to put my pipper. On one of the targets. Try to have it stay there. Okay, down. I just saw one of the vehicles move. Oh no. Lost it. See how difficult that is with those crap reflections? Hmm. 
Come on. Hit something. Hey, there's another helicopter in the air. We didn't hit a dang thing. Nuts. Now I'm going too fast. Of course, the autopilot didn't disengage. What's going on here? The autopilot's not disengaging. Pull up. Pull up. Oh, that was a big waste of time. Okay, so that didn't help. Okay, back to gameplay. Symbol only. Okay, we'll see what that does. Hide control stick. That'd be nice. That maybe that'll help with the reflection. Cockpit visual recon mode. Like that. That'd be cheating. Greatly reduces the complexity and challenge of flying an aircraft. That defeats what the whole point of getting into Microsoft Flight Simulator and the flight simulators in general is. Uh, I don't ever really turn on any arcadey helpful things at all. I, that's why I really wanted to try War Thunder, but Henning was saying that it is it's it's arcadey, and that's not what I want to hear. You know, I am looking for as hard as this is. This is the experience that I'm looking for. Um, and this plane. Is still incredibly arcadey at the moment. We're not using a study level plane. We don't need force feedback. I don't need to start collecting stats yet. Hmm. 
No, nope, nothing I can see for reflections other than beefing that up. I'm surprised this just, they don't have a 1280 by 720. units we don't need any Do do do. You think that would turn off? The reflections. Don't need any of that. So, again, my uh, anybody who might be stopping in, uh, I'm so sorry that these aren't exciting, and they're not, I don't think these are fun to watch at all. And I'm sorry that I am actually even live streaming these. I, I never wanted to because they're so hard, and it's gonna, it's so boring. But I really needed to keep a record of my activity, at least. So, I'm sorry, and it's not going to get good until I can get good at this stuff. It's going to be a real drag. Ahead of you at Waypoint 1 is an island with an assortment of target types. Each target group is marked with red smoke. You have a wide array of weapons to choose from to destroy as many units as you can. Press escape and then select briefing to view a list of useful key commands. Rinse and repeat, get the helicopter. Okay, the rockets. The helicopter has been destroyed.
they should make these guys laughing every time you lose to reinforce your suckness. Ahead of you at Waypoint 1 is an island with an assortment of target types. Each target group is marked with red smoke. You have a wide array of weapons to choose from to destroy as many units as you can. Press escape and then select briefing to view a list of useful key commands. Oh, man. I forgot to put it in air-to-air -air mode.
EOS failure. They got me. MLW. Or I got hit by one of my own munitions that came in too much, didn't pull out, and part of an explosion got me. Ahead of you at Waypoint 1 is an island with an assortment of target types. Each target group is marked with red smoke. You have a wide array of weapons to choose from to destroy as many units as you can. Press escape and then select briefing to view a list of useful key commands. I feel like we've heard that before. Really, even at 490 kilometers, we could not get the nose up. So, I guess this one is just developing patience as well. We're... He's the easy one. Ahead of you at Waypoint 1 is an island with an assortment of target types. Each target group is marked with red smoke. You have a wide array of weapons to choose from to destroy as many units as you can. Press escape and then select briefing to view a list of useful key commands. I was hoping uh, those first shots we took, I guess maybe we just weren't were too far away. I wish we had much more long range on these guys so we could get an opportunity attack. Thank you again to jo Joseph Lenz. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, let me pause right here for a second. And I said, thank you, Joseph Lenz, for being the latest subscriber. Uh, let me go to YouTube real quick. Um, and see if I can find him. And make sure that I'm subscribed back. You subscribe to me, I'm going to subscribe to you. I hope you don't mind. Let's see all. It hasn't put Joseph in my subscribers list yet. All right, but oh no, there's 
there's two Joseph Lens. Let's go to this one. That is a young little girl. I can't imagine that a young little girl stopped by. And this one's also a girl, but they look very young. Can't imagine. There's a third Joseph Lens. This has got like a computer picture. Uh oh, I'm being tracked. They found 78 tracking cookies on my PC. Yeah, and he's got a Fallout video. So I'm guessing that that's the Joseph Lens we're looking for. Okay. A little after the bottom of the hour, if you're just tuning in today, the Adventures of Sky Dude, where I am trying to learn how to be a fighter pilot, and oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. Episode 133, I've been at it a while, mostly in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is all new now, doing the DCS world, and trying to learn how to become a fighter pilot, and learn how to use, just do the basics. Learn the basics. And... I feel like I know nothing. I mean, at least I know how to fly now. The thing that kept me away from DCS World this whole time, again, is I didn't even know how to fly a plane. And I knew that in this simulator, there was fully simulated warp, warp, warp planes. And, um, and if I didn't know how to fly, there's no point in me really being over here doing anything. Why is Baldur's Gate launching? That wants to start a download? No. I don't want you to start a download. That was weird. Wow, we destroyed something, folks. Mark the time, Nancy, for something great has been accomplished today.
Fuel, 1500. Well, I don't see a bomb pepper. Where's the bomb pepper? Oh, it's way down there. What? Hmm. Man, we were back over the target in no time. Mess with my controls again. And my head tractor's off. Where's my bomb pepper? <laughs> it's sad and pathetic, man. I open by saying some people are born to this. This guy, dude, no, 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 not so much. Look out if it ever, look out if it ever sinks in, though, man. If I can get my head around this stuff and become good at this, oh, you're in trouble. You're in so much trouble. If I can get my head around this. View at Waypoint One is an island with an assortment of target types. Each target group is marked with red smoke. You have a wide array of weapons to choose from to destroy as many units as you can. Press escape and then select briefing to view a list of useful key commands. Yeah, my bomb pepper. Maybe this is one of the ones where you kind of have to be in a dive or something. Because I can't see the pepper. 
only if I'm like way there. Up with that. And I hurt myself. And I'm coming out of the sky. So yeah, so now that bomb is one of the ones I guess you got you've got to be up pretty high because I don't get that pipper. Get back to that. Ahead of you at Waypoint 1 is an island with an assortment of target types. Each target group is marked with red smoke. You have a wide array of weapons to choose from to destroy as many units as you can. Press escape and then select briefing to view a list of useful key commands. It hit it. They didn't look very clean, though. Funny story, my one of my children, she's a I don't want to call her a child. Anytime you have a kid, they're still they're gonna always be your child. She's a uh, an adult, young adult. She now has a far superior computer to my own. She just went for broke and dumped a whole lot of money into. Uh, 4090 system, an NVIDIA 4090 system. So you know everything that 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 you would need to be built around an NVIDIA 4090. So I was hanging out with her and checking out her gameplay on her stream. And my gosh, man, the beauty of it.
I'm zoomed in. Do that. Fuel, 1500. All right, where's the Pippa? Uh, we have no, we're moving so damn fast. Can't get the nose down. Can't find a Pipper. Don't know what happened. Losing control of the plane. Oh, I guarantee you it's so much easier than it looks. I mean, it's so much harder. Than... <laughs> it is so much harder than it even looks. I can't imagine your frustration with me watching this and my frustration with me trying to do this. But it is so 
so difficult. Nothing? Really?
the drop. Then here it let go. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Not at all. All right. Well, it's three o'clock in the afternoon today. Again, a total bust, and I'm so sorry. Uh, it it really sucks when you're a noob to try to make a live stream exciting on uh you know when you're a noob at something like this it's not very entertaining to you and it's frustrating for me but i'm more frustrated because i'm not able to provide you a, just an awesome let's go in there and blow up a bunch of stuff experience and it's just Suck after suck after suck after suck. Doing these long turns and having to fly out and then dealing with low fuel and uh, not the best graphics, not the best computer, yada, yada, yada. So I'm so sorry. So later in the year, I'm definitely going to be getting a, a better computer, so that'll help that. It's not going to help me suck any less at the moment. So all I need is just more time uh, doing this and not enough hours in the day to do it. I don't have any targeting stuff at all. All right. I'm going to wrap it up there then. So 308 today has been the uh the suck of episode number 133 the suck of Genius the Sky Dude in DCS World Rookie Woes. Yeah. Target practice. Yeah, just a total bust for yours truly today. What a drag, what a drag. Well, as I say, better luck next time. Back to the drawing board, all that. 